then I think I'm already planning for the next one. Oh, I'm still going to hit that knot. I, uh, I'm already planning on the next one. I think my next project is going to be a stand for my planer. Ice floating around somewhere. <coughs> no, he he's gonna he come back tonight at seven thirty. He he's he's doing what I would have done, and he talked about this on stream, so I guess I can I can talk about it. There, the un, the unemployment is taking twenty percent of his unemployment off for every day he streams but it for day he streams it's not the number of streams so he streams twice a day two days a week and he's getting half pay which is kind of it I can see I can see where the government you know the way government thinks they think that that's a job. It's a business. Especially since your partner. Oh, are you going to fit in there? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're a partner, you're. Uh, oh, man. Well, you know what? It's going to be that high. That should be about 11. A little bit over. Come on. Uh, so they basically they think it, they're thinking of it as a job and a, and a money making proposition. So they're taking a portion of his unemployment. It's also the other thing that they look at is the idea that it's. Uh, Those are days that he can't he can't go out and look for a job because he's he's busy streaming, so they're not gonna they don't pay you unless you're looking for a job, according to them. So he's getting penalized. So instead of just, you know, doing one stream in the evenings and wasting the day, he'll knock one out during the day too. Which I think is a good idea. If I was in that kind of position, I'd do the same thing. Okay, that's good. That's square. That's pretty flush, too. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I worked on one of these that I built. Man, I tell you. It was... I fought with it. Nothing went right. Everything seemed to be crooked or bold. And when I got done, it came out real good. I was just like totally on awestruck. As a matter of fact, I don't know. I'll show you. It was my my miter saw station. Which is right there. And that thing is huge. A lot of people do that. Uh, Bonsai does that. Well, she does. She also does cooking and she does all kinds of streaming. But when I when I first started following her. That's what she was doing. Uh, and if you want to do anything and make any kind of money, you, you gotta be in, you gotta be out there, you know. If you're not in front of the people looking at you or watching you, then they're not gonna think about supporting you or anything else. You know what I mean? 
And it's the more the merrier, too. You know, the more people that you have... Because think about it. Think about these bits. You know, I don't care. I'm not here for the money. I'm here for visiting and everything like that. You know, if something happens and I end up making a little bit uh, to, to break even, that's all right. But I don't care about that. That's not, that's not it. Matter of fact, that because of the way the federal government thinks, I gotta watch watch what kind of money comes in from a disability. So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I just this is just a friendly kind of thing. But like bonsai and and people like that, that's their this is their livelihood. And it's like anything else. You got to market. You got to be out in front of people. And you got to be out doing your thing. Look at the, Je what the Jehovah Witnesses. Look at the Jehovah Witnesses. They're in front of everybody's door. Was that a bad example? Oops. When you're in business, in business, you got to be in front of, you got to be open, you got to be in front of people, you know, you got to have, you got to do that. And the whole witnesses are in front of everybody. See ya, have a good evening, and uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I try real not real hard not to talk about religion. I gotta make sure that these are up right. Okay. Now I haven't made drawers in a long time and drawer frames. So this is gonna be a really good science ex experiment. Once I get this all together here. I think the next thing I'm going to do is build a base for it. Because i got to raise it. <laughs> <coughs> when I originally designed this. I was figuring I'm, it was going to raise it about 3 inches. Between 3 and 5 inches. Whoops, wrong one. With, uh, with wheels. Well. I realize I don't have any wheels in stock. And the more we talk about it, there really isn't much of a reason to put wheels on this one. Because it's not moving. So, i got to put a base in it. Okay. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And we'll have this shelf done. I need some liquid. We'll do it. Carve. Do anything. When I was living in the apartment, I didn't have access to, you know, I didn't use tools or anything like that. And they didn't, they frowned upon me using the shop at work. So I, uh, I did a little whittling and this, that, and the other, and kept my dust and everything down to a little pile that was easy to vacuum. Then I spent a lot of time in front of the computer. I fished a lot. Oh, man, did I fish. And I built a lot of fishing stuff. Rigging and stuff like that. Never did lures. Well, that's not true. I used to make a spinner, a spinner bait. And I used to do it with a silver or gold plastic spoon. I cut the spoon off of it, drill holes on each side, put
put a hook on one end and put a little ring on the other so that it would go. They were cheap. Man, I caught fish with those. They worked real good for Spanish mackerel, because Spanish mackerel likes that silver flash, boy. My thing is that... Pure fishing for Spanish mackerel gets kind of tough. Oh. oh, man, I must put 10 pounds on this thing. Oh, jeez. All right. It's actually not going to be a bad height. I'll tell you what, over the years... You acquire a lot of stuff. Hmm. Little twist. Little leg action here. Oh. This is where screw clamps come in handy. Just screw them down straight. Like that. This lines up. I want to do a real quick check here. Oh, wow. That's putting me at about 8 inches. That's putting me at... Oh, eight inches. Look at that. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Oops. Oops. The last one's always the worst, or the toughest. There we go. That's going to be that one there. That's pretty square. It's not 100% flush, though. That work. No, it won't. Of course, you know there's going to be all kinds of little dings and divots on the side of it. I should have put a piece of wood on it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Right there. Hey Brandon, how you doing? Did you show? Did you sneak in on me? Or, or you, wait a minute, hold it. I don't know. Let's see. Sorry, Brandon. I should have kept my mouth shut. I was going to, but so, for some reason, something just blot out. Oh, wrong one. This is why I got this impact wrench for these long ones.
I'm still thinking how I'm going to raise this. <laughs> bump, bump, bump. Is that how that music goes? Bump, bump, bump. Well, that ain't gonna work. That'll work. That'll work. Right there, just like that. No, oh, not like that. It slipped. That's because I'm stupid little plastic pad. That's the only bad thing about Harbor Freight clamps. These little plastic pads come off. And it starts marring the, your work. So then you end up having to put in... Uh, Start using little wood curls, which take cuts down on the size, the amount of stuff you can use. Hey, thanks, whoever's hosting. Who's hosting? Oh, thanks for hosting, Fake Beard. Appreciate it. See how that. This is good, this is good. Okay. Got to bring out the big dogs. I don't think these big dogs are long enough. Yeah, they are. Hey, how are you? Hang on a second. There we go. Had to straighten up the little bit of bow that's in this uh, in this stuff. So this way, when I set it up right, it's gonna wobble real good. Be a weeble. Hey, how you doing, Amasika? How are you? And Josepla, how are you? Welcome to the Two Dog Bargain Workshop, where. We're building all kinds of stuff. And thank you for the follow. Th so how you doing, Fake Beard? We're continuing from what we were doing yesterday. I had cut all stuff out yesterday. And got a little wore out. But I make what I'm making is... It's going to be kind of a stand cabinet kind of thing. Really? Wow. Well, I didn't think Czech Republic was all that all that strong in hockey. Really? Wow. Oh, well, hey, be careful out there. All the kids who are coming home a little earlier here. Yeah. Okay. All 
by putting long screws in like this, I am actually tying the outside piece to both the cross member, both cross members, and it's also tying into the the plywood in there. So I'm getting a pretty good solid joint. Oh, really? Oh, I bet. Uh oh. That one went the wrong way. Let's see if I can if I can drive it sideways. I may have to redrill it. No, it's following it. Let's see. I think there's a, there's Oh, I thought that's where a knot was. Maybe I put it in crooked. I usually don't. So now we go do the doctrine thing. By the time I get done, I'm going to be gluing the nail in, just to, gluing the screw in, just to make it look pretty. Let's see. There we go. That's in. And it made it. See? Can almost fix anything. Almost. So let's flip this up just so everybody can kind of get an eyeball of what we got. And then we'll go from there. I'm one of these guys I build on the fly. I have an idea of what I want. I kind of have an idea of the style that I want. And I go from there. Normally, I should go in with the clamps anyway. Okay, so here's top. All right, can't see the whole thing. Put it right there. I don't want to be able to put a whole thing in the camera. No, I'm not. Let's see if I can get it off on an angle over here. Any better. No? Okay, so that's got the top and there the bottom. I'm going to have to look at two of them to see it. <coughs> now here's a way that this is going to work for those that don't know. First of all, this is going to come up off the ground about three or four inches. i got to make a bottom for it yet. I originally had planned on putting screw uh, wheels on it, but I don't have wheels. And after some discussion and everything, we decided that probably putting wheels on it isn't, isn't the greatest idea anyway, because it's going to be sitting. Right in here, I'm going to put in a set of drawers, and I have this this top piece, which seems like kind of low, even if it's up four inches, three or four inches, it's still going to be kind of low. The reason why is back here, this is going to have a backing on it, and I'm going to put uh, French cleats across it, and I'm going to set it up so that I'm going to be hanging these things either this way or this way. I thought about off the back, but I may just go ahead and screw like tracks. So this way you can slide it in there, and it can, I can adjust it for the length of whatever piece is on there. And then below it, 
on the front. I'm, I still have French cleats everywhere. And then below it, I'm going to put in like, I got a battery powered saw. And I got a sawzall that's got to go in there. And then anything related to that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll put in there. I figured there were going to be tools, so it, it really doesn't need a whole lot of shelf height. Although, <coughs> I don't know. You know, put stuff on, low stuff in the bottom if I have to. If it's a fit thing. And then the top. Oh, and then on the side. I'm going to make a little shelf. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on just one side or both sides. And put a retainer in it. So this way I can hold tall stuff. You know, like my uh, T-squares and levels and stuff like that that are long. And put them in there and keep them from falling all over the place. Because when you put them up against the wall, they end up disappearing. So that's going to be a little bit over five foot tall. Probably about five and a half foot tall by the time I get done with it. Now, the next question is, what am I going to do for a base? I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking about this base thing. I got some one befores. Actually, if I go up like five inches, it wouldn't be too bad either. And it becomes how am I going to mount it? And am I going to put a kick plate in it? I don't know about that one. Decision, decision, decisions. That one come out a little bit straighter looking than the last one. This is very similar in design to my, my clamp rack. Except I didn't put the 7 degree angle on it. And I put the top in right. So we don't know. I thought about... I got a lot of half inch plywood. I can actually just put quarter inch plywood on the sides. Because all that is just to, like, to cover it. And in the back I want to put in, probably put in half inch. So this way I can hold the stuff, hold stuff in. It actually doesn't even have to be enclosed per se I don't know decision decision decisions all right base wise To the one before I can strip them down to three. Yeah, but then I got little pieces again. I got enough of little pieces. It's probably got to be at least three quarters of an inch thick, I would think, for a base. Because I don't think there's going to be that much weight on it.
Make it like a little quick kick plate. Hmm. Him, him, him. Decisions, decisions. I can use these as feet. They're a little crooked. They're straight when you when you cut little pieces off, they'll be straight. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. That is not parallax on the cameras. That's actually bow. I don't have Well let's 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 do a little cleanup here. Gotta do a between shot cleanup. And go to the scrap bin. Maybe I'll find something useful in there. Look at the wood and see if I if if the the lookings of a base come to mind. over here because it's a compression deal pushing downward plywood is actually would actually be the strongest choice for that because that's the way that plywood is it's strongest and and and, and, I have a couple of hunks of plywood here, it's three quarter inch. I got a whole sheet of, a whole sheet of short stuff here if I need it. And, And I think that's half inch. That piece of half inch is going to end up being a, a drawer. Yeah, that's half inch. Oh, look at this. What have we here? Another piece, but I think it's too short. That bad boy to be oh about 18 inches. I got 21 this way. Ho oh, ho! Look at that. 18 inches. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I need about 24 inches. A little short. That's okay. So if this is 48, boy, it's a little bit short, 48. Now get one out of here. Maybe I'll get one out of here, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'll get one of each out of here. So, which is the narrowest? These are about the same. Okay. We have made a decision. This is 18, right? That's 21. This is 18. So let, me, let me put a mark in here so I don't get it 
corn fuse. Let's flip it over because that's the way it's going to go. So what I'm going to do is these I'm going to rip down and there's going to be like going to be dust. Because they're a hair over two and three quarter. A very little hair. So if I rip those down to two and three quarters of an inch, and then I make these my little posts three inches, we will have an interesting base. Get my drink out of the way. I'm getting enough sawdust in it. So let's go ahead and rip these down. Then we'll start cutting and fitting. And I'm going to hold them. I'm going to put them on with pocket holes. All right. can't lift it. This is quite a formidable piece of furniture. It'll hold a lot more than it looks. Since we got a flat base on it, I can take pocket holes. We got it here. Let's get it up there when you see the top of it. There we go. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna set them right here, and make like a like a skirt, and put it in with pocket holes. And then got a little split here. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna take these these little pieces. I'm gonna put on the inside and screw in from two sides. And that should give us a good strong base if it's if it becomes a, pro becomes a problem, I can always stick a piece in the side of them to keep them from trying to want to collapse. But I don't think that that's going to be a problem because they're going to be pretty much flush to the to the base here, so it's going to be hard for them to wobble. So first things first is two and three quarters of an inch. Of course, that's way too tall. And we bring this down to right about there. So, if you're on headphones, this might get a little noisy. So you know, there's two and a half. There's two and three quarters, give or take. And, and, why don't I flip this around so you can see what I'm doing? How's that? So I'm going to take, and the piece that I want is going to come between the fence and the blade. And the blade is, is got what the curve, a curve is, you know, that cut that goes in there. And they go, the, the blades actually kind of like go out this way. Kind of go out this way. So you want to measure from the ones that's closest to here to here, so you get your true your true cut and that just happened to be this this one here is one of them this guy here is one of them too and this one here looks a little sharper so we'll go by that one so I'm gonna go over here and it's real close so I'm gonna tap it out a little bit and we should be 
two and three quarters of an inch, give or take a bit. And of course, it's slipping as I tighten it. So what else to do? It's a little bit more, a little bit too much. Come on. All right, that's good. Cool. That's close enough. Because I'm cutting all the piece, the width of the piece is all at one time. If this is just a little off, it's not really a life or death kind of thing. But I do like to be have some accuracy. At least make it look like I'm trying to be accurate. And then we go from there. Now I have to dig out more toys. And set up a vacuum cleaner for noise. Okay, so I'm going to turn the, turn the vacuum cleaner on now. And as loud as that sounds to you guys, you are hearing nothing. And the saw is pretty quiet too. I need something. Alright, where that sits, that's going to make it real nice. But you always have a stick handy just in case. Like any other tool that rotates, you always stand out of the way when you fire it up. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit straighter. Like I said, I'm taking a very small amount off on this. On these. What that does is that kind of squares them up, makes them kind of parallel. Yeah, they're a little warped, but that's all right. If it wasn't warped, I couldn't say that I did it. Here's a better side. This looks like a better cut side. Okay, so we go and take it in here. why I got sawdust in my underwear. Okay. I do that. Now I need two out of this. On the 18 inside I got a little I got a little A row. I gotta move everything out of the way. That should line up pretty good. That should line up pretty good. And hopefully I'm not cutting through it. Shouldn't be. That's one. one more just like that cut off one of the noisemakers. 
So, okay. So, this guy's going to sit right here, and it, and it fits. It's probably cut off on the last one. It fits perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, I'm going to cut two of these. And I set them in. And then we're going to have to fit and cut the other two in there. Okay. So, we're going to set up, I'm going to go pocket holes on this. And then pop a couple other screws in it too. And so, what I'm going to do is, we're going to move this around, hopefully. Well, let me let me set up my pockets, my pocket hole jig first. It's this way you can kind of see what's going on here, maybe. That's my R2-D2. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I got this big old box. It's holding up a whole lot. I got this here with the screws. Which, we can put screws over here. Now, next group, when I when I go to make the other cuts, are going to be lengths. They're going to be cross cuts, so we're going to bring that back. We're going to put this in here. I may have to get a stool to stand up on because I'm a little short. Okay. So. Put this Scott bad boy back. I'm going to cut them too. Or drill them too. I need a drill. Oh, drill. Here we go. Got me a drill. And I need a clamp. Clamp it. Clamp j. Clamp it. Clamp I'm a clamping guy. Here, let's use one of these. It doesn't have the furry things on it. Doesn't have the little things on it. Okay. And uh, we'll turn this around here, so this way you can watch me walking by like a crazy fool. And this is one of the few tool jigs, or yeah, jigs that I use a vacuum cleaner on, dust collector, whatever, because it it helps to make a better quality hole. doesn't plug up and stuff like that. A lot of people use these things and they don't use a vacuum. And you got to go in, in, in and out a lot of, a bunch number of times. Hey, thanks. Hey, hobo, what's happening? You get to see me play with some of those expensive tools. This was kind of like... It was like insane. But I'll tell you, I was doing pocket holes. We've been doing, I was doing pocket holes ever since I was a kid. Hey. Thank you. Since I was a kid, and we used to do a freehand. Well, you would not believe the number of drill bits you end up busting doing that. So, this guy here. It probably saved me a lot of money in drill bits. And it's actually set. Okay. So now I guess I better I better move it around. How come this thing slipped? There we go. Let's move the overhead around so you can see what's going on, kind of. How's that? That works pretty good. Well, let's, you know what? Hopefully I won't knock it around too bad. How's that? A little better? Yeah, it's a little better. And we'll put this one over here 
to get another angle on it. Maybe. The sun isn't in the eyes. Nice picture of neighbors. Yeah, see? Too much sun. Okay, well we can fix that. Maybe. Hey, come on, give me a little rock. All right, there we go. I feel like I'm setting up for a YouTube video. All right, we'll raise that a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And then I gotta move it around again. Okay, how's that? How is that? Oh, that don't look too bad. All right, like I was saying, I always run the vacuum cleaner on this because it, it, the tool works much better with the little vacuum attachment that's on it. And I'll show you. First of all, we put this in. And then we check. Yeah, that will lock up. Now, I probably need, and I'm kind of guessing at this, Probably need one about here, 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 and here. And that would be basically, let's flip this over and I'll be drilling. It'll be drilling into that knot. Oh well. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to. I'm going to poke four holes into these things. Let me show you. So we're going to line this up. Oh, of course, I'm going to guess at it. We're going to line it up over here. We're going to use a B. The B grade. You lock this in. All right. Now, here's, here's what happens when you're running this without the vacuum. Chuck don't want to tighten on this drill for some reason all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. We caught now. So you see all that garbage on there. You know, it would help if I plugged this in. This is what's nice about the new wiring setup I got. I, can, I actually can plug this in sometimes without even having to run a extension cord. All right, here we go. So now I got that going. And it does a couple of things. The vacuum actually helps hold the board in place. And check this out. Clean. as a whistle. So this way, you don't have... You don't have it filling up your your drill. And it makes it that much easier to, to work. Okay, with my head in the way. I hope that's not too noisy. This is a my my mic is kind of noise canceling, so it works pretty good. At least according to what Jan was saying. This pocket hole jig's got a lot of miles on it. There it is. 
that's the first set. I'm gonna go ahead and mount those. And then we can measure in between. Uh, I'm gonna use inch and a quarters. And I, I broke the bank and invested in one of these. And these are actually pretty nice. They work good. So let me let me move it around a little bit. Oh, I tell you, I gotta dis. I am going to have to disconnect. Houston, we have had to disconnect. That would work pretty good earlier because we had people from Houston here. Okay, so, hey, that's really a really nice picture of one little corner. I lost the camera. Oh, no. I got to figure out a way of making these, getting these plugs so they don't hook up. We come back? Oh, yeah, we come back. Okay. So. So. So, so, so. Let me see. Oh, we didn't come back. Hang on a second. I locked it up. I did it. It's my fault. There it is. Oops. Well, there was a nice picture. Let me see. Doesn't do any good to be able to be showing you stuff if you can't see it. Jeez. All right, I'm going to leave this right here. Let's see if we can get this camera to orient a little bit better. There we go. So that's the wrong end. That's the end we're looking at. Okay, we'll come closer. How that look? Okay, yeah, that's the end we want to look at. Might as well get a beer break while I'm here. Okay, so. Hey, Artifacts, how you doing? <coughs> Welcome to my crazy little place. Uh... It helped if I had a drill bit. Ugh. I don't think I need one that's that long. I think I can get by with using a shorter one. I guess we're going to find out. Really? Well, cool. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I always like when you guys stop by and visit. Even if it's a little quick one. Because you know what? Saying hello is all the big part of it. I'm looking for my stool now. Little short guy cheater. There it is. I'll be glad when I get this stuff together. I'm not building tall stuff anymore. Which may happen someday. Oh, and you know what? That's going to be a butt shot. So. 
So let's go and change that. No, that's not the one we want. There we go. We'll go ahead and change that so this way you can, you don't have to look at my posterior. Oh. No charge for the grunting and groaning, guys. Okay. So, I got this guy. I'm going to put it right here. It lines up pretty good. Except I'm upside down. Now, <laughs> the thing about pocket holes is, I could set this in so it's hidden. And it look, you know, it look kind of nice. But, you're running the screw out into over here which isn't as strong whereas when I'm, I'm running through here I'm going into this and the plywood and it's a much better connection which is why I'm setting this up like this hopefully this thing works and then if I hold my mouth just right I'll be able to clamp this booger down probably too thick there it is okay so we're set here and we're set here that's straight and if I can do the balancing act without falling on my patootie we'll be able to drive some one and a quarter inch nails in there I could probably put one and a half <coughs> but when you when you're doing three quarter stock it calls for one and a quarter. So we'll go ahead and do what they call for. And I hope I got this set right. I think I gotta give it a little more horsepower. And then we just run them in. You don't want to overdo it because even though these are flat on the top, they will split out. And splitting it out kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, it's a little. I missed it just a hair. All right. That one spun because it, it got into a crack. But there's enough of them here holding it. And, you know, drilling in a plywood, it's a veneer, so that snaps out easy. Okay. There's the first one. And just with those four screws, look how solid that is. <coughs> I should have put... I could put glue on there. But I'm kind of hoping that in the future, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... Take all this stuff off the bottom and put wheels on it. When I get some extra wheels... I guess I'm not going to need this. And man, I'll tell you what. I go through, when, when I'm doing these pocket hole deals, I this here is nothing. But I do, I built a lot of framework with pocket holes, you know, for it to be hidden and stuff. And man, I'll tell you what, you can go through a lot of screws pretty quick. Okay, so, there we go. I probably won't have to sand the top since I've been dragging it all along the inside. All along the floor. Oh, I don't know why I'm holding on to that table saw. It ain't ho gonna hold nothing. So now we're gonna go ahead. Now we're gonna do this one too, just like we did the first one. Maybe a little bit straighter. Not much, probably. But as clamps go, this is actually supposed to be, this is a corner clamp, is what they sell it as. But it works, it works for a lot of good, a lot of clamping, a lot of clamping. One of these days when I'm a little richer and famouser, I might get another one. 
Although I do pretty good with one. Two, four, okay. The other one's probably going to need about six. And yeah, I don't... I don't stand on my stuff to show how strong it is like April Wilkinson and all those other kind of people on YouTube and everywhere it does. Believe me. I use this thing for climbing up and down and picking my my dead butt up off the ground and everything else, so this thing's pretty sturdy. Now what I'm doing here this type of skirt arrangement is actually although they use better of course they'll use better wood and they'll use instead of using the they'll put these guys in the back so it doesn't show or they'll they use some other type of joinery. Anyway, this is a classic. There are a lot of pieces of furniture, chest of drawers and stuff like that, that uses a skirt like this in, in, a, in a number of ways. One of them is that they, they will turn around, they will put like wheels. They'll be, the skirt will be short and the wheels will, will be behind it to hide it so that, you know, everything's covered and it... You don't see nothing. Other times they do the same thing. They'll put a little, like we, I'm going to do, it's going to be a little bit taller, but they'll have a little stud sticking out here, and you'll have your four legs. <laughs> but it hides all this. So this way it doesn't look like you got a big gap going across the floor. So, although I'm using a little bit more modern and yeah, kind of not so flashy joinery, I am still using some classic, classic building techniques. <laughs> um, most probably, I could have turned around and just put that, you know, cut these little shy and put it over top, but I didn't. Okay, Artie. Okay, Artie. I'll see you later. Most probably, I'm going to be over harassing Iggy. Probably about an hour or so. I'll shut down and give him a hard time. <coughs> but I want to get a stream out. I, I want to get this done. And I like visiting with everybody. And, you know, all the all the normal, usual stuff. But thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I always appreciate the visits. Appreciate the comments and... Some of the discussion, we had some interesting discussions today. We talked about pizza. We talked about Mexican food. <coughs> and Texas. And Texas Mexican food. And 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 and, and all kinds of stuff. So, Alright, so I got that one set. So let me set this other camera over here. It'd be kind of at a distance. But it wouldn't be too hard to aim. I think you can see that, right? Well, yeah, cool. Kind of. Let me raise it a little bit. Get general idea, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna cut some. I'm gonna cut some lumber on a table saw. What I'm doing here is I'm cutting to make a square end. Then we're going to measure off a piece. Cut it again. Hopefully it'll be nice and square. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to unplug that. Okay, so I am not the, uh, well, I used to be. Okay, so I'm going to measure this, it goes in here, this comes across, 
I'll cut it right about there. And I want to keep this one. So, hopefully, oh man. <coughs> I wonder if that's going to be long enough to do both of them out of that one piece. Boy, would that be a kick in the butt, huh? Turn around and find out that I had done it one piece, didn't have to cut all this other stuff. That's okay. That's a good common size. At least it will be for a while. Okay, here we go. Fire in a hole. Is it going to fit? Yes, it is. It'll work on the back end. Now, I am fitting each one of these individually because uh, there's always inconsistencies. Let's see how close we came. Well... Uh, well, you know what? I just can't get no closer than that. I'm sorry. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and look at this a little bit. Move this cam a little bit. Oh, yeah, you said we'll see that. Good. And I had a pencil here. Then I'm gonna put a put one in about here, and then one about here, one about here, one about here. Uh oh, forgot the super sucker. Probably about a weekend I'm gonna have to empty these. I've been running them kind of hot and heavy. Yeah, that's good right about there. Now this is this is it doesn't have to be accurate because I'm not mating to anything. But still, it's good practice to try to get it lined up as close on your mark as you can. Because when it does count, you'll be able to do it. Okay, next, hey, where did I put my clip? Oh, it's over there. Oh, shooby dooby doo. Shoo booby dooby. I may need my hammer to do a little tapping. Tap, tap, tap. And maybe not. And I'm putting it upside down again. I'm getting pretty good at that upside down stuff. Ugh. Now one of the other things is, 
to that. These pocket holes are going to be aiming downward, so maybe they won't collect as much dust. I could plug them. And I have done that. But, to be real honest with you, they kind of look like an accent. Yeah, there's a little bit of bow. But not no bow. I got screws here somewhere. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. <coughs> this is just the right height. I'm surprised I haven't smacked myself in the head with that thing yet. Do -do -do -do. Okay, this is where it should be, right there. It goes in a little hole, and it's done. This one's gonna have a little, gonna need a little bit of persuasion. Squeeze it just a little bit, right there. One more time, maybe. Oh, that one went in a little bit deep. That's okay. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Pop it loose. I actually probably got this thing set too tight. This clamp. But I want to make sure when I clamp it, it ain't moving for nothing. Nobody, nowhere, no how. And none of those other no's. Dr. No? Doctor No. There'll be like two more little things to do after I get this other piece on. <coughs> and I'll be out ready to turn it over. Well no. Hey, you know, this is a pretty good pretty good spot to be able to make my my uh my door rollers. My question is how big am I going to make them draw rivers? Probably as big as the one before. Which sounds good. There's going to be packing holes. There's going to be packing holes involved with that, too. Okay. So, now... Find a good end. Can you see? Does that help any? Maybe if I twist it this way a little bit. You can see both corners. Okay, you see both corners. Good. Okay, so... Boy, I was griping about my legs hurting before. I'll be in I'll be in the house tonight. And we're going, man, my legs hurt and I don't know why. Jan will turn around and hit click play on that. On a stream video. Okay, so I, don't, I want this pretty straight, so I want this right up against here like that, and I'm going to go against here like that. We go like that, we go like that, and we mark it right there. It might end up being a little short. And this one, I'm going to hit this, make a little bit bigger mark. As to why, I don't know. Because I can. And we're going to line that bad puppy up bad to the bone. About right 
there. I should turn the vacuum on, shouldn't I? Okay, everybody, hold your breath. That cut good. Another piece of firewood. Before I do drilling or playing around or anything like that, let's make sure that it fits. Because it don't fit, I'm going to have to do something else. Oh, man. Look at that. It falls into place. I'm going to have to squeeze it together and pop a screw in here. That's okay. That will happen. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. More noise. Man, I tell you. I won't let anybody sleep, will I? I want four of them there. Let's make some markings on this thing. Uh, we're going to mark it about there. Oh, about there. And about there. And oh, about there. Close enough for now. Okay. So, we got this guy. I'm going to set it up so that it's flat and straight and locked in. Lock in. Thank you. Fire in the hole. Ta-da! Okay, so they have uh, these guys, these uh, jig pocket hole deals that are like individual pieces that you set up on a board, you clamp it down, you drill it, then you move it and set it up and do it again. And I had thought about getting it, and they're, they're pretty inexpensive. And I had thought about getting one. Or getting them. And the more I thought about it, I do a lot of repetitive drilling. Like this. And that moving and clamping and moving and clamping, I'm pretty sure it gets pretty old after a while. So I spent a few extra bucks and got this. I don't even know what, what that is. I think that's a K-12 or something. And I, I did that just before they came out with the other one. Which is a you know I'm gonna do this one a little different. Which is a, a big old thing with a bar across the net that helps keep everything level. Which if you can afford it, that's not a bad one to have. But in all honesty, most of you can do the same thing with that one there, just putting some shims underneath it to keep it flat. That's for when you're doing like real big panels, like uh, a lot of people do cabinets, cabinet work and stuff like that on it. And they're real heavy. And it's not, it'd be nice for that. Like I said, 
it's not that hard to raise the size of that thing so that it's all straight across there. Come on. You know, I tear these up pretty quick, and it's probably because I don't put them in straight. There we go. Okay, so now... We got our skirt in place. And we're going to cut some feet. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now, I'm going to keep all this stuff out because I'm going to need it. Forgot how tall that is. Oh, I don't know. I think I made that two and a half, two and three quarter. Yeah, that's two and three quarter. So if I went three and a half, since we're doing repetitive cuts, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. So if we want three and a half, that'd be that'd stick up a little bit, give a little bit of airflow underneath, give a place for the the rodent the rodent dun rodent to run around underneath it. Uh, which way am I going? There we go. Oops. I was better off before. Okay, that's pretty good. See my ball head. I'm going to sit down and give my legs a little break here because that climbing up and down was a little on the difficult side. Since I'm not probably not supposed to be doing that. Although I'm not sure because that wasn't written directly into it. Oh, the UPS guy dropping something off. More goodies. Let's do a setup and then I'll, I'll take the break. Okay, so we're going to... Boy, this is going to be fun. We're going to use the cricket ones. Because like I said, we're going to be doing short ones. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we got the right height. Because I hate like how to be doing all this cutting. And then turn around and find out that it don't cut all the way through. Okay, so we got that up above there. Alright, we got that. And we decided I decided on three and a half, wasn't it? Maybe a quarter. Be a half inch higher. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half inch of mundos. So we bring our Trusty and not so rusty guy here. I used to have a clamp over here, but they all dispersed in a clamp rack. I'm gonna have to put one back over here. Cause it's such a long walk over to that clamp rack. <coughs> oh no, I want I want a squishy one. A quickie to set one. Hey. I have got my quickie to set ones laying around here somewhere. How come they never made it back to the clamp rack? That must have been from last night. Oh, they're on my clamp rack and I don't Oh look at them right here. They are on my clamp rack. They were just hidden because the clamp rack went spinning. Alright, so I said three and a half. How good can I measure with this? Not well. There's three. There's and a half. It doesn't have to be exact, you know that? And dead. Oh no, that's 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 another string. And dead. Alright, and that goes right there. And that would be that's close enough. 
I'm bringing this back. We clamp it shut like that. And I'm going to go rest my legs a little bit. So if you want to talk amongst yourself, you can. Want to fight with other people, you can. Uh, or whatever. And, uh, there's like a lot of boring music that's not on here. So give me a break here. Let me sit down. Take a little break. And the funny part is, is while I'm taking this little break and getting some leakage, my mind is doing 900 miles an hour. Because I am trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to make that that drawer. Because there are three basic pieces to a drawer. The side, the glide, the separator. And I don't need a separator if I'm only going to put one drawer in. But 24 inch wide drawer is pretty wide. 24 by 18. That'd be a pretty big drawer. I'd probably be rather off, cut it down, everything would be about 23 inches. About 22 and a quarter, 21 and a quarter on the inside. I'm probably going to make two drawers. No waiting. Like I said, I haven't made drawers in a long time. So these are going to be plain and basic. These are going to be more basic than basic can be basic. Uh, probably just glue and glue and glue and screw. I think I'm going to use a three-quarter inch piece. Those, uh, I think those are one fours. I think that's big enough. If it's not, well then I'll just, I don't know, I'll make a sh another shelf or something. Do some customizing. The nice part is right now that the way it is, it's all nice and airy and it's pretty solid. We'll go ahead and I'll put the, I'll put the feet on it. Flip it over just to check it, and then I'll probably flip it back again because I think putting a, the drawer slides in and everything upside down might be a, probably be the easiest. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no. I wonder if I could suspend that. I'm thinking. So everybody should be scared. Oh no. I'm going to snap that in there. That's going to ride on that. I'm thinking that I'm going to take some three quarter inch pieces and run it along the sides. That'll be like the main slides on either side. Then. I'm going to cut a. Probably just use a piece of one before, and about center, screw that one before using. That'd be fancy. Use pocket hole screws. In the center, and then put a piece of maybe plywood, so that it sticks out on either side, and that'll be the center slides. It will also be. Once I get that done, I will have to put a three-quarter inch piece between the two uprights. So this way I got guides on the side, on the, on the side, so this way it doesn't twist and stick out and get caught. Once I get that done, I 
I could probably screw it directly to the backing piece that's going to be on the back. So it will be solid in three or four points. And there won't be a whole lot of framework involved. I could come back three quarters of an inch from the front and just put a little three quarter inch piece across front just to make it look pretty. That would also help, no, well, it wouldn't help su support it any, but that would also give you a place to put a door stop in if you want to get fancy. That sounds like a plan. <coughs> Let's see. I got the I got the thickness of the I use quarter inch plywood because they're not that much weight. But I ought to use half inch plywood because I got that coming out of my ear balls. Yeah, I use a piece of half inch. Uh And then I'll figure out what I'm, how I'm going to make the door. I'm not going to make it none too fancy. You know, I haven't used my router in a while. Maybe I ought to make a rabbit in there. It's always nice to have rabbits. Rabbits are good. Oh, everything on this so far has been butt joints. Oh, I said butt on a family channel. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Hmm. Maybe I ought to use a straighter piece. No. The only way I'm going to be able to use that crooked piece is in little, little stobby honks like this. And as, and as uneven as this floor is, it probably, probably won't even notice anyway. It's going to rock it back and forth. I'll be putting sick. I might have to buy a case of matchbooks. Shove matchbooks underneath the corners like you used to do in the old days. <laughs> it's been a long time. This floor is so bad, there's a big hole in the middle of it. And I found that out the hard way. I've made one of these cabinets I made. No, it wasn't either. The folding table was one of the first ones. The folding table. I went and I set that on the floor, and I, I built it to to the floor, making the assumption that the floor was flat. <laughs> yeah, right. So there's a couple places that I had to sand the edges down because there were little bit pieces of plywood sticking up over the top of the original, of the framework that I made. I was not a happy camper. I was real proud of myself. It went together real easy. It went together too easy. That was the problem. Man, that thing just... I popped that booger together and... I was like, yeah, we're done. I did good work. Yeah, well. Supplies! I was looking at the Home Depot. I think it was Home Depot. Maybe it was Lowe's. And they have screws, which was that are that are got colors on them, like pine and oak. And it's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep buying these shiny ones, or I'm gonna buy the painted ones. If I could buy paint, find painted ones that are that are like a bright orange or bright yellow, I'd use those. Because you know what? When I put those screws in, I want you to see that I, that I held it in with screws. Because if I was going to hide them, I don't want them to be the same color. I just drive them in a little bit and I plug them. So this way it's covered by real wood. What's this matching stuff? Jeez. Anything to get a buck. 
or I'll get real fancy and I'll buy the little stickers that uh, Fast Cap sells. Walk around and put little stickers on my on the top of my screws to cover them up so that so they'll match the wood. That's a good idea, I guess, for IKEA stuff. And I guess for mass producing. If I was like building a lot of these at one time and I want them to look kind of pretty, that, that I probably have to do. I do something like that. And I might actually invest in one of those Craig plug makers. Okay, I've babbled enough. Let's cut these feet. Not my feet. Although my some of my feet would probably beg that I did cut a piece of them off. Oh, and then on top of it, I, I, I don't know what the heck happened. Last night I stubbed my toe on something in the house. I don't remember what it was. And it's been in that place for years. Uh, let me turn the air... The, the dust collection system on. I mean, it's been there for years. And, and I run right into it, just bam. Man, did I see stars. I thought I was watching one of Iggy's constellation picture thingies. Holy buckets. But I was still able to walk, and I didn't leave puddles of blood, so we're good. Are we too tall? No. We should be fine. Yeah, make a little noise there. Okay, there we go. You know what the hell do I push this in a little bit and actually cut it? Cut a piece off. Okay. That rubbing noise that you're hearing, I don't know if you're hearing it or not, but I am, is from the expansion and contraction of the wood that's on this, on this sled. Boy, that's not the square. How to clamp that, maybe. Because of the humidity, it's been it's been humid and and then it dries out and this that and the other, and it's to the point that it's playing havoc on a lot of my tool, my wooden stuff. I have been kicking around the idea of making a a jig to do angles. Eh, that's going to have to go like that, set like that. Hmm. All right, that'll go. And, uh... I'm kind of glad that I kind of talked myself out of it. I think I'm going to keep it that way because... Man, this is like way too much wood movement in this garage. I need to get one of the remote control things. If I did that, I would never get any exercise. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I talked about this. Oh, yeah, I've talked about this. Jan got one of those Fitbits. Which is... It's a little watch that counts your steps. But it, it does other things, too. Wakes her up and harasses her in the morning. Uh, when she's at work, if she's been sitting too long, it'll come back and say, hey, you've been sitting too long. That's going to take three clamps. I have two here. Actually, I have a bunch of them here. But I should have another one around here somewhere. Oh, there's that clamp I was looking for. That other clamp I was looking for. (coughs) 
I actually had these clamps kind of in order. And as to why, I have no idea why. Yeah, probably because it was easier to, if I just looked at it, I can say, oh, I'm missing one. Oh, it's over there being used. Okay, well, I'll use this one then. Thank you. Okay. So, we're done cutting. Since we're done cutting, let's spin this bad boy around. What do you see? You see one. Now you see nothing, right? Hey, well, that looks good. There we go. Look at that, a box. See? Come on. How's that? Now it's a uh, closer box. How about there? Okay, there we go. All right, so one of the things that I'm going to do, that's two foot. I'll use this one, because it's a little bit lighter. One of the things we're going to do before we start doing anything, is going to tighten, there's a little bit of bow on the, in this plywood. It, those, uh, uh, pocket screws, they have a tendency to, I've noticed that they have a tendency to kind of flare it a little bit, which is okay, but I'm just going to bring them back in straight, like that. Then we're going to clamp it this way, lightly. And we're going to clamp it this way, lightly. And, and, if I can reach it. We won't clamp it this way, likely. Okay, so like I have no room. Whoops. I have no room to put a drill in now, so I won't be able to uh, to fix these. So we'll just set them on top of the clamps. I'll put a few more on it, and then we'll go to Harbor Freight and I'll buy another couple dozen of clamps. How's that sound? Now I can do this. Actually, no, I can't. Hey, thanks for the whatever. Thank you for following, Zero. Okay. So that's going to drag it in. Uh, no, I don't want to do it that way. I'm a, it's going to end up pulling it anyway. All right. Um. I got to undo my drill. Need that drill. I get that. I need my drill bit. Now what the heck did I do with my drill bit? Here, drill bit, drill bit, drill bit. Here's one. Hmm. I think that's a one oh. I think that's the wrong side. Oh no. That's a two. 
but it's not a high high doom of Wapi 2. Oh well, we'll use it. Tear it up in a couple of them. I have found that I have a lot better luck when I'm using the regular uh oh what the heck are those? Been using uh I was gonna say sandblaster. Using the impact uh quality drill bits, they seem to last longer. Now these are two inch. I don't want two inch. No and not two inch for me. Well, wait a minute. That's inch and a half. Those are inch and a half, aren't they? Yeah. And a half inch is going three quarters. Okay, I can use two inch. I'll go two inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we will do it to two inch. Ow. I keep forgetting I got I got earmuffs on. I, I cut, cut around that thing a little close. <laughs> I'm gonna take these things off. My ears are gonna be red. Look like somebody beat me, beat me in my ears with something. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one screw in, a couple screws in here, and then uh, figure out a way to put a couple screws in over there, and a couple more screws over there. Get the torch out, weld all the screws together, and we'll be good to go. All right, we're gonna go right about here. Well, that was good. That must have been tight. Oh, yeah, we're nice and tight. And well, let's put one right about. Yeah. With the counter burr. Doo -doo. Oh, looky. You guys can't see it, but the other half of Two Dogs Barking Workshop. The one who actually works for a living has showed up. So nobody to say anything about Jan. Unless it's good. Which, I'll be honest with you, all I say about Jan is good. And she is a very good apprentice woodworker, amongst other things. She does all kinds of beading. Hey, there shouldn't be a screw there. Yeah, there is. So let's go up. Let's go down a little bit. No, we'll, we'll fill that hole in. All right, that's good. Maybe I can drive it in with the driver. Not to put an extension on it. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that! It went in. Eight feet. It work. Okay, now, I'm going to take this off and I'll pop a screw in here. Well, no, I'm going to drop it down. Okay, this can come off. Like that. And we'll drop this down. Actually, it's holding pretty good. So I'm going to pop a screw right in the edge here to hold these two together. If nothing else for principle. Boy, I'm good at hitting screws, I'll tell you that much. No wonder my drill bits are always dull. Okay. There's one. Four more to go.
That was pretty good. Let's see. I put the clamps on on purpose. Actually, no, I didn't, but since I'm doing it. Now, I want to do this one a little different. I don't know why. There's got to be a reason. But I don't know what it is. So if anybody can come up with a reason, let me know. Actually, it'd get one clamp out one clamp out of the way. Yeah, bring it down a little bit. Okay, down we go. Now Oh. Oh yeah, sure. Got a little flare going on here. Oh man. <coughs> Bring out the big moments. I actually bought this one for this kind of stuff. Get a lot of horsepower behind it. There we go. That fits good. Okay. We got a nice tight fit there. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to order another half dozen drillbits. That's some hard stuff, man. That's some hard stuff, man. Probably because I'm trying to glue into the glue. Okay. That's going to hold that in place. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, loosen these up and watch it go spoing. Actually, it probably won't. Hey, how's that sound? Whoops. I'm having trouble squeezing, squeezing release springs today for some reason. Gee. Okay. clamps I don't have a leg oh I don't have a leg to stand on there it is now I have a leg to stand on all right so this will go up against here straight like that and it'll hold it there like that too I think I'm not sure how there may be a little ledge or something here and there it's throwing it off not sure. Hey. So. Well. That was helpful. So what's going to happen? Something's going to move here. Come on. Okay, that's moving. That's kind of straight. That's kind of straight. That's kind of straight. This is kind of a drill. And I'm going to kind of drill here. Hopefully, maybe. Well, I 
a little bit of an angle, but it'll go in. Hopefully. And we'll put two of them side by side. In like this. Yeah, it's on a little bit of an angle. That's because my clamps are in the way. Probably going to wish that I had about six feet of drill bit here. Let's see if I can spin one of these black ones off. That'll work. I'm going to put a shiny one in. Well, that worked good, too. So, I'm pretty sure if I release this, it ain't going to go nowhere. Far. And I was correct in my assumption. I got a funny feeling. And I'm going to have to be calling it a day pretty soon since my most beautiful and loving wife has come home. Oh, look at that. Yes, I'm ambidextrous. I can drill with both hands. Not very well with my right hand. Okay, there we go. I think I missed the screws. I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can screw right-handed. That sounded bad. See? Ooh, looky, that worked. Ta-da! You know, if I put a little mark on the floor and I spun this around exactly where it's at, you'll be able to see the next one. And if I spun it around and kept everything in it. Spin, spin, spin. Uh, spin, spin, spin. Okay. So I didn't spin too good. There we go. Okay. One more. Let's go ahead and clamp these. I'm going to have to spread these. <coughs> I've got a spreader. I happen to have a spreader. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to close this off about like that. And I think I'll have to do one side at a time with the spreader. And I want to clamp it too hard because if I clamp it too hard before I spread it it's not going to go where I want it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, boy. All right, so then we go. We set this. Set the spreader in here. Like that. And then we... Whoops. Too much. Too much. Okay, right there. That's good right there. Uh, right about there. Okay, so over here somewhere, I got a screw. That's 
that's going to hold that in place. The other one needs the same, same treatment. And even though you're not seeing it, I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. <coughs> While I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. Oh. Oh, I'll probably have to loosen the... Okay, right there. No, I'm not going to have to loosen it. Alright, there we go. So I'm screwing things while I'm hanging off the edge of a little scaffolding thing, which is supposed to be a seat. And there it is. Okay. So we move over. Yo, oh, this has been running a long time. Uh, I need to check real quick. Oops. Uh oh. Let's try this again. <coughs> I lost my tweet. My tweety. Tweety weety. Hi, baby. How you doing? Honey, I'm home. Wow. I guess I'm still streaming and working and stuff like that. Cool. I will, I have a couple of things to finish up and then I will be in the house. Uh, which it'll probably go faster if I quit playing with the computer, huh? Okay, we got that, we got that. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and put these two bad boys in. And we're probably going to call it a day. So, how was my most beautiful and loving wife's day at work today? Just remember, this is a family channel. <laughs> oh. Okay. I have been streaming for at least 10 minutes. Let's put it this way. I've been streaming long. Hey, look at that. This squares up really good. I looked at I stick it down like this. I may be able to drill and set this without putting a clamp in it. And it's going to call me a liar now. No, I think it's going to work. Whoa, would that be funny? All the other ones were squishing and everything else like this. This one actually kind of square. Third one. Yeah. Yeah, it held up pretty good. It went in right in. Okay, so I have got that in the way. And that's there. I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to put one right here. A little bit at an angle, maybe. So it's holding a little bit of meat. Chewing down on a little bit of meat. Chum, 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 chum. And, uh... There we go. A couple more on this side. Down about there. 
Hopefully that's not going to go into anything. No, it didn't. And what about, oh, let's try about there. Yeah, that worked. See, Jan's home, so that means it's dinner time. <coughs> Which is probably a good thing, because I had lunch. All I had for lunch was sawdust. And although there's, I don't know what the nutritional value is with sawdust. I know there's a lot of, a lot of fiber. Oh, well, maybe not because the way I've been talking and everything about it, a lot of people think, man, that guy is so full of poop. Oh. Okay. Last one, gang. Maybe it'll go in real easy. Then again. Maybe not, because that's usually the way it rolls. I gotta figure out a way to hang that one. Okay, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me see what we gotta do here. I gotta move a camera. How about if I raise this thing? Raise it, raise it, raise it. And give it a little twist. Oh, wrong twist. Like that. Oh, look at that. What a nice picture. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Let's see how good this sits. This doesn't sit too bad. So, I'm going to clamp it with my hand. Do a hand clamp. And lean back on my knees and drill it in. Oops. And hold it a little bit a little bit better next time. Like that. And do the same thing. Hey. Whoop. Okay. <coughs> now I get rearranged over here so I can hit that thing the way it's supposed to be done. It actually set itself up pretty good. Now these pieces are pretty solid. I gotta twist it a little bit. It's still in. Yeah, okay. So these things are pretty solid. So I don't think I'm gonna need a cross piece to go across here inside. But I will flip it over probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm still debating on, I didn't wanna do the shelf before I or the drawers before I flip it over. Maybe even pop the back backing on it. Because flipping it is a pain. Hey, you know what? Let's get fancy. Why right, so it's gonna be deep enough that the doggone screw's gonna go all the way through. Whoops. Yeah. Nope. No, it did not go anywhere. Okay. So. Well, yesterday when we finished up, this bad boy was a whole bunch of little pieces. VCs, PCs. 
today. It's a whole bunch of Reese's pieces stuck together. That's kind of heavy. So, let's call it a day. Let me go see if I can find somebody that we can, we can go harass. I want to thank everybody for, for hanging out, coming by, stopping by, all the shares, and the hostess with the mostess and stuff. And everything. Boy, that tastes good. And, uh, there it is. My ugly mug. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I gotta look around here. See if there's anybody I know floating around. Let's see. Kate Pike. Last man, Bonsai, Bubba, Carl, Berth, Britt. Hey, let's go harass Brandon. Brandon F. is streaming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so let's go ahead and put this up. Whoops. Okay, we're going to put that up. <laughs> Do a copy and a paste. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a hosty there. And, you know, if you want to do it, fine. If not, fine. It'll be a one-man raid. That's okay. It, Brandon's the one guy. So we're going to do that. Uh, hi, Bungalow. How you doing? Yep, we're going to go harass Brandon. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great evening. And I will meet you in uh, Iggy's stream when he starts it. B-R-A-N. Okay. Let me try that again. I can't spell for nothing. All right. B R A N D A N. All right, there it is. Now we're talking. Okay. So we're going to go do a host with the most. Uh, that's okay. I'll probably misspell it now when I'm doing the host. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to get down to where I can do this fluidly. But then I'd have to learn how to spell. Okay, everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a very pleasant day and everything. And I will see you later today. And according to this, I should be doing